Are you kidding me? This is the moment to debate new regulations that have nothing whatsoever to do with this crisis? That's what they're up to over there. American people need to know it. Democrats won't let us fund hospitals or save small businesses unless they get to dust off the Green New Deal. I'd like to see Demo Senate Democrats tell New York City doctors and nurses who are literally overrun as we speak that they're filibustering hospital funding and more masks because they want to argue with the airlines over their carbon footprint? I'd like to see Senate Democrats tell small business employees in their states who are literally being laid off every day that they're filibustering relief that will keep people on the payroll because Democrat special interest friends want to squeeze employers while they're vulnerable. Squeeze these employers while they're vulnerable. I'd like to see Senate Democrats tell all American seniors who've seen their hard-earned retirement savings literally melt away as the markets track toward their worst month since 1931, that they're continuing to hold up emergency measures over tax credits for solar panels. Tax credits for solar panels. Even with the Federal Reserve announcing even further extraordinary steps today, the markets are tanking once again, as I said, because this body can't get its act together. And the only reason it can't get its act together is right over here on the other side of the aisle. So these are just a few of the completely non-germane wish list items that they're rallying behind preventing us from getting this emergency relief to the American people right now. Eleventh hour demands the Democrats have decided are more important than Americans' paychecks and the personal safety of doctors and nurses. So remember what one of Speaker Pelosi's top lieutenants in the House said just a few days ago, and this is a direct quote, this is a tremendous opportunity to restrict things to fit our vision, to fit our vision. That was the Democratic whip in the House, just laying it out there. Reminds me of the definition of Washington Gaff, when a politician in Washington tells you what he really means. And we heard something similar here on the Senate floor last night, just last night. Here was one of our Democratic colleagues, quote, how many times are we going to get a shot at a $1 trillion plus program? Right here on the floor last night. I don't know how many trillion plus packages we're going to have. In other words, let's don't waste this opportunity to take full advantage and get our whole wish list done. They ought to be embarrassed, Mr. President. In fact, I've heard from some of them who are embarrassed. Talking like this is some juicy political opportunity. This is not a juicy political opportunity. This is a national emergency. We had days of productive bipartisan talks to get to this point. Senate Democrats sat down with Senate Republicans and negotiated furiously to get to this point. The bill now contains a huge number of changes that our Democratic colleagues requested, including major changes. We were this close, this close. Then yesterday morning, the Speaker of the House flew back from San Francisco. And suddenly, the Senate's serious bipartisan process turned into this left-wing episode of supermarket sweep. Unrelated issues left and right. I'll tell you what will really lower our carbon footprint, Mr. President. If the entire economy continues to crumble, with hundreds of thousands more Americans laid off because Senate Democrats won't let us act, that will lower our carbon footprint, all right. Every single American outside of Washington knows this is no time for this nonsense. 
a surgeon in Fresno, California, says, quote, we're at war with no ammo. We are at war with no ammo. That's a surgeon in Fresno. An intensive care nurse in New York City says, if we don't get the proper equipment soon, we are going to get sick. Democrats are filibustering more masks and aid for hospitals. Every day, more Americans wake up to the news that their jobs are gone. Their jobs are gone. Democrats are filibustering programs to keep people on the payroll. And they're filibustering a huge expansion of unemployment insurance, which they themselves negotiated and put into the bill. Hundreds of dollars extra per week for laid off workers on top of existing unemployment benefits. And Democrats are blocking it. This has got to stop. And today's the day it has to stop. The country's out of time, out of time. When the Democratic House passed their phase two bill, even though Senate Republicans would have written it very differently, we sped it through the Senate and passed it quickly without even amending it. I literally told my colleagues to gag and vote for it for the sake of building bipartisan momentum. Because Republicans understand that a national crisis calls for urgency and it calls for bipartisanship. <clears throat> it's time for that good faith to be reciprocated. It's time for Democrats to stop playing politics and step up to the plate. The small businesses in their own states deserve it. <clears throat> their own state's emergency room doctors deserve it. Their own constituents who've lost their jobs deserve it. In my home state of Kentucky, the governor has effectively paused commerce across the state, and our unemployment system crashed due to demand. Kentuckians need help now, and we aren't alone. I've heard the pleas from healthcare workers in New York and Seattle. I've listened to the small business owners crying out in Brooklyn and Chicago. Why does only one side understand that this is urgent? Why are these hard hit cities? Our own senators are happy, really, to keep this slow walking going on indefinitely? Is that really something these folks on the other side are comfortable with? Indefinitely slow walking all of this? How can half the Senate not rise to the occasion at a time when everybody else in the country is pulling together? They're pulling us apart. The examples are all over the country that we ought to look to. Healthcare heroes, to neighborhood volunteers, to national industries, everybody is unifying and pitching in. What about here in the Senate? It's time to get with the program. It's time to pass historic relief that we have built together. Country doesn't have time for these political games. They need progress. So we're going to vote in just a few minutes. And I assure you, Mr. President, the American people will be watching. <laughs>